Welcome everyone to the King of the Palace, brought to you by the new Palace Lanes and North End Mazda Subaru. I'm Steve Bronchuk. And I'm Dave Matala. Last week, Rick Kamrowski defeated Anthony Karen. Now he faces the number three seed and another newcomer, Glenn Moody. Should be a great match. I'm Dennis Nuzzo. I'm standing here with last week's winner, Rick Kamrowski, the number five seed. Welcome back, Rick. Good to be back. And the number three seed, Glenn Moody. Welcome, Glenn. How you doing? Last week you had a good tear. You were uh, down 16 pins going into the second string, and uh, you came back and put a whooping on Anthony Karen. It was nice to see five marks in a row, and then just took off from there. Yeah, he gave me a good battle, but I, I got a couple more breaks than he did. That's what it comes down to, pretty much. <laughs> um, welcome, uh, Glenn. Uh, anything you want to say uh, about your opponent, Rick, today? No, he pulled great last week. I watched him. He's a good bowler. And Rick, anything you want to, words of advice for Glenn? Uh, I just want to say good luck, you know. Awesome. Good luck to you both. Up first, Glenn Moody. Chase. Ooh. On alley three. Opens up, found the pocket. It's left the two and the four. Some favorable wood, it looks like. I would just go after the... Go after the wood on the left. Left. Should take them both out. Nice smooth pick delivery, up. Glenn. Nice way to open it up. Glenn's first appearance on the King of the Palace. Number three seed, opening up with uh, the qualifying score of a 396. Not too shabby. Nope, not at all. Lives yeah. in Lunenburg, Mass, and he bowls out of um, Mason's Bowling and Recreation Center in Lumster, Mass. Eight drop, but look at this ugliness. Oh, my God. Look at that. Then, I know. I hear you. 9, Glenn. 10, no wood. Why didn't the wood stay on the deck for him? It's up to 9 to 10, parallel pins. Very, very, very difficult to make. One out of 500, maybe one out of 1,000. Oh. Field goal. Field goal, right. Yep. No, but no three points. No three points. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll try to get out of this with a nine box. Get one out of the two. Oh, I threw it away. No. Yeah. Opens up with an eight. Yeah. Not Good to be bad. back. Well, season three. Season three, week two. With our new sponsor, North End Subaru Mazda. In Lunenburg, Mass. General Manager, uh, Marty Bad Dabano. ex candlepin Bowler. Loves the sport. Wanted to see the sport grow, and he said, here you go. Let me help you out. Up now. Rick the Kamrowski. The number five seed from last week, defeating uh, the number four seed, Anthony Karen, to move on. A little bit weak on that first ball. Went, oh, that was way oh. right. Held on to it too long. Rick Coming, coming out of uh, Framingham, Mass. His home alleys are in Millis. But he also bowls out, out of Lucky oh. Strike and Lynn. Now, here's an example. He had four pins. The one... The three, the five, and the nine. He hits one, and what does he get? One. One. <laughs> he plucked it. I, I have no explanation for it. Four pins up, you hit one, you get one. I, okay, let's see if he can come back. Look at this disaster. Wow. Three, six, ten, four, seven, and eight. Found the head pin, and look what he's left. Any specific names for this one there, Steve, or what? No, no. not to my knowledge. Ugly. <laughs> Clown crap. Isn't that when the Greek church leave? No, it had to be one less pin. Oh, one less pin. Yeah. Two and three is three and two. Oh, I was waiting for the double pinnacle. No, oh, that's coming. It's been a while. Look at this. Nice out. Now, you know I'm not going to forget it when it shows up. What's that? To make my double pinnacle sing. Uh -huh. you, you don't think I'm going to let that slide by? No. Nope. Thank you. I'm going to pour a nice glass of prune juice and wait for it. <laughs> and in case you missed it last week on King of the Palace, uh, we do have a few new things happening this year due to viewer comments that uh, you'd like to see, so we're going to institute them. One is the King's Option. Uh, yep. Brand new Bola interviews. Yep. Uh, dress code policy coming up starting next taping. You know, Who on. knows? It might be some more surprises down the line. You never know. Yeah, you may never know. I mean, we're trying to... Be the innovators. Oh, look at this. Oh, what a pickup by Glenn. Oh, what Pumps his fist. 
knee. Oh, he split it. The pins went down. That was five a pins ugly. Five pins spare split lead, and he made it. That was a beautiful shot. Oh, my goodness. What, what a shot. Okay. But wanna welcome the new audiences. Spencer, Greenfield, Salem, Shirley, Harvard, Athol, and Orange. Is that Salem, Mass? Um, I believe it is. Beautiful. Why we, love a meal. I love that city. We are continuing to grow and branch out. And hopefully, if you're watching this and you want it in your town or city, call us up. Go to your local Access TV station and say, hey, I want King of the Palace on my TV. And we'll get it to you and you'll be able to enjoy it. Doesn't cost you anything. Just have them call. Oh, look at this. Oh. Way left. And if you're in Canada and you want to see it, you can always see it on YouTube. I know when I was at the Worlds last year, I had um, I had quite a few people come up to me and notice me from King of the Palace. So they are watching it up there. We designed this show so anybody could actually be on the show. Um, some people like it, some people don't. But all I can say is, you know what? It gives everybody a chance to, to live with their dream and give them their 15 minutes of fame. And he hits the head pin in the pocket. And look what he's left. Two, seven, and the nine. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Well, I think he's got to go to the right of the two pin here. Get some spray action around. Let's see what happens. No, no, he, no he went to the oh. other side. He went to the left of it. Put a good bid on it, just didn't curve enough for him. I didn't know if it was on purpose or how he designed it. Ooh. I don't think he had a shot at that one. Wood was just in a position where no matter where he hit it, it's going to ricochet the ball and the dead wood away from the pin. All right. A true roll block. Yep. Coming up to uh, box number four, lane number four. Oh, sorry, my bad. You're right. Box number four, I looked at the wrong one. I give it what I'm wrong. See? Steve's sitting there with a smirk on his face. Oh, triple wood. Oof. Oh, Dennis. Oh, I don't like this at all. I would just cap one I mean, of those. I mean, you, you've <laughs> always talked about, Dennis, Dennis, you always talked about that double wood. What do you know with triple wood? Same thing, spray and pray. No, oh, he's went wide left. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. Rattling around. You just never know this and, game. And if you're just tuning in, if you're wondering why, you know, if you want to know if uh, Tony Iannuzzi oh. is defeated as king of the palace, all I can say is Tony took the, the king's challenge, the king's option. And he ended up requalifying. And he bettered his spot, so now we're not going to see him for a little bit. That's right. That's brand new to King of the Palace this year is the King's option. You have the option as the King coming back. If you want to try to bet your seed in the fifth spot, you can. Uh, just, you know, put in your entry fee, try out. Even if you don't qualify, the worst you can do is come back as the fifth seed. Yep. Okay, Lynn Moody fires. Yo, right people, people were asking for it. Just a little different twist. It can either uh, hurt the King or favor the King. That's right. Because you know? you'd be tired tired and you don't qualify, you start in the fifth spot. Ugly split. Oh, oh look at this. Shot. I was going to ask you, David, was that a version of the Aces and Eights? Um, yes. Yeah, excellent, excellent shot by Glenn Moody. Fired into the 1-3 pocket. Took out the 4 and the 7 on the left. Made the spare. What a confidence builder. What a confidence builder. Going into alley. Excuse me, box number 6. Lane number 4. Zeroing in on that head pin in the quarter. Let's see what happens. Drops it. Off oh. to the left a little bit. Oh, and he's dropped five, and he's left the what? The Kaleri to the, the right. We'll take this moment to uh, thank again North End Mazda and Subaru in Lunenburg, Mass. General Manager Martin Babineau. Go to buynorthend.com. Gotta love it. Oh, my. oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. look at this. <laughs> really? <laughs> You better wipe your feet on that one. Are they bowling guards? Yes, there is. Come yep. on. The I love those sidewalls. <laughs> pin came back. The dead wood rolled into the one and the three. The moody is He must happy. have had a little grip on that He's ball. He's shaking his head. He's just eyeballed us. 
Sugar Glenn, uh, we should have our uh, sponsor come in one time and uh, do a little interview with him, have him do some commentary. Yep, we um, mentioned that to him, and he said whenever we want him to do. Awesome. Yeah, we'll reach it out you to know. him and uh, have him come down. Great folks over there at North End Mazda and Subaru. That's where I actually bought my Mazda. Nice. You know, they hooked me up. Now he's hooking us up. Nice shot. Nice shot. Nice shot. Had to play the right wood. The wood and the ball's taking up both the, the two and the nine. Rick's he first mark of the string. Oh, he needed it. We mentioned before, you haven't seen Tony Iannuzzi? Well, guess what? He just kind of raided the booth a little bit. Welcome, Tony. I'm here. What's up, guys? What's How you doing? On? All right. Just watching the action. So how does it feel uh, cashing your king's option and finish hey, better than you got started? Got nothing to lose, so. Exactly. Get a little pre warm up too far, so. <laughs> nice. Good thing it favored me, so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I said, the worst you can do is you finish where you're going to start anyway, so. Yeah, exactly. Yep, Tony turned around and he took the. He went beast mode on the competition. Okay. Gotta love it. <laughs> I don't know how that shot didn't go. Uh, I thought he had it. Drop seven on the spear, he's shooting the seven for a. No. Ooh, that was no good. No, no. Make contact with the wood. Wood in the wood channel. Huh? Yep, a little too close. After six, Glenn Moody at 77 working on a spear, and Rick Kamrowski at 61. What do you think of the competition so far, Tony? Good. So far, so good. Yeah. Big scores so far, so. Anybody, uh, anybody worry you yet that you've seen in the field? No, not really. I'll pick on anybody. <laughs> no? Bring on. Good confidence. Oh. Nice. <laughs> That's what we like. It's candlepin bowling. I got a question for you, Tony. Who's the one bowler that you would love to face that you never have? Probably you. <laughs> wow. Ooh, I guess I guess Dennis, Dennis, I guess he kicked your can all over Dodge. Well, I mean, we've bowled against each other. Yeah, yeah but you know what? You Almost had the opportunity the to team. face each other in the qualifying round. Yeah, I, just, I couldn't get it done this time. Put it to you this way. There's one sitting in the chair commentating, and the other one sitting there holding the mic waiting for his chance to bowl. Exactly. <laughs> but you guys will have your chance next week. It's all fun enough. That's it. Tony and I go back over 20 years, so <laughs> we know each other very well. Too well. <laughs> Leaves the 1, 6, and the 10 with and a the piece fun's of weapon. coming Friday night. I'm bringing the pain with you Friday night. <laughs> Friday Night Pro League is always fun. It's going to be fun. Okay. Then rolling back, leaves the finger of yeah, God. Uh, very disappointed with that. Half was to fill. <laughs> it's our King of the Palace terminology. Well, Glenn's going to try to come out of this disappointing half worst to fill on the spare. Box number eight. String number one, lane number four. Right, right again. He's left the one. Oh, not bad for an ocean ball. Uh, one, four, seven, nine. Tony, what do you think of all the naysayers that, that um, kind of like put down the show or have their derogatory comments? Oh, I just go in one ear out the other. That's how I look at it. I do my talking on the lane, so I don't listen to outside you know what. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good to know because nine times out of ten, I really don't care what anybody says. Exactly. Whether you, you like it or you love it. You know? The more you try to intimidate me, the worse it's going to backfire. That's how I look at it. Okay, up to eight, Dennis, for uh, Glenn Moody. Glenn is at 96. <coughs> Rick Campbell, up on Just remember, whether you love us or you hate us, it's the best thing going. That's right. Exactly. And we do read all the comments, whether they're good or bad. We do take everything into account. And if you do leave a, a comment that's uh, not so favorable, you can pretty much guarantee that it's going to get mentioned on the show and a joke is going to be made out of it. Yeah. Like the intermediate action that we've seen in the first couple of weeks. Mediocre. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Mediocre king, how does that make you feel? Whatever you want to say, mediocre can turn to superior in, in one week, so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, has uh, a lot of people been talking to you about, you know, being the king and your thoughts on it? I just like say, yeah, well, if you want to see it, come down and try to challenge me. That's all I usually say to them, so. Yeah, it's usually the ones bad about oh, nice pick that up. don't yeah. come down, you know. Yeah. The just made, is, that's all. Just made the seven and the eight for a spare. We had some wood. Like I said, I talk on the lanes. I don't talk behind the car or behind a computer screen. I just go out there and do my business on the lane, so. That's the best way to be. Yep. Okay, big box here. Lane number four, box number eight. Working on a mark. Oh, dropped an unfortunate, only picked up four. 
Look at this mess. Cluster bunch. Look at this mess. A cluster <laughs> bunch. I like that. Cluster bunch. <laughs> Got to get the head pin. Got to get the head pin. Maybe. Oh, oh wait. Wow. The king pin short stays pinned. up. Two short pins. Danced all around it. All those little, all those little jokers just bounced all around, and me, 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 the, me, me, the king's still the king. <laughs> Do it. As soon as we draw. After eight, we got. After eight, we have Glenn Moody at 96 and Rick Kamrowski at 84. Well, we saw Rick last week start off slow against uh, Anthony Karen, and then in the second string, he just opened it up and went to town. Yeah, he was down 16 going into the second string and just whooped. <laughs> whoop. <laughs> Open the can of whoop, you know what, five, on Anthony Karen. Five marks on the row. Five marks on the row. Glenn Moody here zeroing in on that head pin. He needs to get on the head pin or he's going to become moody, so. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is very true. We've all seen that. Oh, oh there it is. Two the holy oak. Three, the four Worcester. Box. Half Two Worcester. out of four boxes. Half Worcester right. But it's pretty when it goes. My favorite shot in the world. Yeah. Best way to hit this is outside. Yep. Especially at Central Park. Yeah. Every day. Central outside Park. at Central Park. Yeah, outside. Sometimes you just want to go outside after the night. Yeah. Have an apple ace. Oh, Look come at on. Oh. Finger of God. Heck you don't see that at Central. No. <laughs> you know first in experience, too, so. Okay, just a 10. Nice pin in. One more to go. 106 after nine. Moves over to alley number the four. Most important thing in this game, believe it or not. You can win and lose by a few. So the third ball is actually the most important. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Exactly. And every pin counts. Oh, you see it, uh, the qualifiers. Look at this. One pin made the difference between qualifying and not qualifying. So That's right. Get your shot to get, your shot to get on the TV. I throw that pin away and it costed you. Look at this uh, ugliness. No. Right left. Threw it away. He's left a 159 with some wood. Might Try to get two out of three on this one. Yeah, looks like Glenn might be getting a little frustrated. Finishes with a 114 shirt. And we have Ricketts, 84 after eight. Needs a mark to tie. He's got, he's got a little work to do. 30 pins to tie, anything more? We have the lead going into the second string. Tony, what were your thoughts when you were uh, first time on the camera? A little nervous, took one mark and they disappeared, so. I don't even tend to look at the camera because when I'm up there, I just look at the floor, then look at the pin. So I don't even bother looking at the camera. So, are you nice. a uh, you a spot bowler or you look at the oh, pins? Yeah. So I didn't know that like that I look at the floor that much when I was seeing myself on the oh, right first time the around. Loop. I'm like, yeah. wow, I didn't know I look at the floor that much. Everyone's different. Big I know. Triple T. Everyone. No, no two candle pin bowlers throw the ball the same way or release it the same way. The or I don't know how people do it. Hmm? Can't. <laughs> oh, he wants to come out of this little uh, disappointing seven. One to go, he's at 91, needs a mock. No, he needs a double. He needs a double strike to. Who would you say majority pin spot is? Uh, looking at the floor? Oh, good question. Who do you use guys to look at the floor? Look I would the say the majority from what I see, look at the pins. Look at the pins? Yeah. I'm, I'm a spot bowler. I'm a spot the, bowler too. I look at the pins. Yeah. Half and half then. Yeah. Oh, found the oh, Because looking. sometimes when I'm looking at the oh, pin, there. and my eyes wander, the ball goes where I'm looking. I know 10 times that's what happens. He's left the five, the eight, the ten. Piece of wood I don't think is going to help. See what happens, Rick. Throw it. Play it a little contact. left. Left of the five. Ooh. Oh, look at that. And he just missed. After the first string, Glenn Moody is at 114, Rick Kamrowski at 99. Well, Mark still the difference in the first string. Up now, the number five seed for match number two, Rick Kamrowski. You're getting there. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it roll off the tongue. Here's all bowlers opening up. 
wants to throw a good first ball. Hopefully get the pocket and head pin hole. Oh, oh, he's got some back action. He's left the ball husband left along with the eight pin, some wood. Contact with the head pin in the pocket here with the two should make the spare. Rick coming out of uh, Framingham Mass. Oh, oh, wow. Well, before he throws his third ball, I just want to mention to the viewers out there, our professional scorekeeper, Rambo, watching every ball and the pins. And uh, Rick opens up with a nine box. Finger of God. <laughs> the finger of God, absolutely correct. I'm not going to forget that now. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's Dave's terminology. Yep. <laughs> Well, it's, see, it's, see, it's, there it's, are it's other more it's, it's more new wave, new age stuff, you know, rather than saying like the Queen's leave or the double. Oh, well, I got new wave stuff. The finger like, of the devil. I've come, come up with new wave stuff. Down. Oh, look at this. The one, the, a break. The, the one I do like is the Devil's Bedpost. I like that one. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he's got a lumber yard in front of this pin. It's five pieces of wood. Where are you going? This this could spray and pray. Where yeah. are you going to go? you got to throw the ball and see what happens. Just got to cap ow. something. Ace Hardway for you. Oh, oh you go. yeah, he drilled it. He went right into it. The spare in the second box. Good momentum builder. Yeah, Rick's with this Adam position last week. called the Chucker's Dream. That's what I would say. <laughs> Close your eyes, chuck and hope for the best. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's better to lay off on the, the power on the ball with that much wood. Oh, yeah, yeah. The sidewalls here, yeah, because you get the pinball action going around. Oh, don't <laughs> start talking like that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to have to answer questions about Sunkist and banana peels. and Pinball. <laughs> pinball. <laughs> Better be careful. I wanna, I'm going to say that you're going to uh, be the pinball wizard. Oh, Scott Moore is. Oh. <laughs> That's true, though. Yeah, it, is. <laughs> it is true. Now, Glenn, I think Glenn a little bit the adjustment there. and Wide left, leaving the four horsemen right, along with the seven and the eight, nine. Oh, this is difficult. Got to throw the strike ball to make the spare. That's all there is to it. He's got to split the one and the three. Oh, and, oh, just missed it. And he leaves the finger guard. Very, very common. That's Tony, what do you think people shooting at a single pin? How many times do they make it? Eight out of ten? Well, believe it or not, we're struggling off the hip pin most of the night. That's the hottest nine drop to hit, believe it or not, yep. is the hip pin. It's all mind over matter then, basically. Oh, he's got to find it here. He's got to get back in the groove. I've said it many times before, bowling's 90% mental, 10% mental, yep. talent. I would like to see a psychiatrist figure this game out. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could say that, that about time. my golf game. I want to see a psychiatrist figure Steve out. Leaves up the seven pin with a whole bunch of junk on the deck. Oh, now, where's he going to go with this guy? Let's go oh, right at the pin, the Tony. If, yeah, if, if you can see it, hit it. Yep. I don't know. I'd, I'd and play if you're going to miss, miss I'm playing the third piece of wood here. No cap. Oh, yeah. look at that. Yeah. Nice spear shot. Going nice spear. He, he needed that it. Up. Got it. He made it, but you can never tell what's going to happen with that. Right. And he's work yeah, he's working on the spear, right? Yep. That's correct. Wide right only picked up. Nice oh, catch no, no, break. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, they're still falling. Come up with a six. Nothing wrong with a six with a weak ball. One, two, eight, and the ten. Yep. It's the pocket on this. It should go. Yes. Nice oh, shot. Went to the right of it and still carried it. That replay is beautiful. Yeah, that's going to be a nice slow mo shot right there. At this time, I would just want to give another plug uh, to the world's world championship candle pin, uh, candle pin up in Haverhill this year at Academy Lanes. Oh, best so, of the best. Know, November 11th to the Drops 16th. Drops nine. Nine drop on the spare. I encourage everyone, if you're in the area, please come down and watch. It is just a spectacle Waiting to observe. Waiting for that observe. piece of wood to stop and see where it's going. We're going to have to clear that one piece of dead wood on alley four. Oh, threw that ball away. He knew it. He knew it. As soon as it left his hand, very unfortunate. Had a chance for three in a row. 
It happens. Again. Ball goes to the right of the pin, stays on the alley, and didn't hit it. That's showing you there is. That's because he missed it. Well, <laughs> yeah, I know he missed it. I'm saying, why did he miss it? Because he didn't hit the pin. That's <laughs> right. But what I want to point out to the viewers is it's not as easy as everyone thinks it is. It's 60 feet down there, and if you keep the ball in play, even at a corner pin, go to the right of it, you're not going to hit it sometimes. Glenn Moody getting set here. He's working on a spare. Oh, he knows. He's got a chance here to open it Glenn's up. down maybe. 15. Going into this match, he needs to start doing some work. He was in his, um, no, he's up 15. He's oh, up excuse 15. me. Rick's down 15. And Rick was in the same predicament last week against Anthony Cowan, and he just came back and lit it up. Wide left, only dropped four. He's left in an abomination of whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no name for this one? No, nah, no idea. Oh. Ugly. I know. Glenn's oh, doing a just, little lumberjacking right it, now. It's just when you want to throw a good ball. Get big T, triple T. Is it nerves? Do you overthink yourself? What happens? Well, sometimes you overanalyze things too. When you yeah. Sometimes yeah. you can rush or you can take an extra couple. You want to hit the headpin so bad when you're on a mark. And the ball just. That's what it says, mind over matter. Dennis is absolutely correct. I, I'm, I am slowly going to his field feeling of 90% mental. Sometimes, tend when you miss the headpin too much, you don't notice mm -hmm. it. Sometimes you can run. Sitting here with Steve a lot makes me 90% mental. <laughs> <laughs> I think I feel I'm directly next to him. <laughs> I never thought it would be 90%, but I'm inching up there now. Okay, he's got a tough spare shot here. Yeah, they make oh, no, whoa, whoa. I feel bad for Deborah. That's who I feel bad for. Oh, uh, the delightful Deborah's all right. Oh, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I feel bad for her. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice 10. 10. So we're, all, we're all just one big happy family. That's all it is. After four, Rick Kamrowski is at 55, Glenn Moody at 43. Glenn's lead has been knocked down to three pins. Three pins for the overall match, correct? For, yeah. for the overall yep. match, right, yep. Well, we got six boxes to go, people, out there in Candle Pin viewing land. Let's see if Glenn can't pull this, uh, Rick can't pull this one out again. Noticed anything from the bowlers, Triple T? Uh, right. Yeah. Really, no. Just right now, I hope well, it's another one. the words of Jay, our business should be about to be picking up. <laughs> no, it, <laughs> now, here you go, Dennis. Here's your version of right the, uh, rally, no of the Greek church lead. Two or three or three or two? Three to two. Got him. Oh, well, this is ugly. Oh, this is an ugly lead. Maybe. Oh. Well, get out of this with a 10. You're happy. Four, seven, no wood. Now, this is a difficult shot, too. Made maybe 40% of the time. You going back to statistics again? Oh, I love statistics. Love angles. Love, 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 love. He just doesn't have any proof. I know. You tell me this all the time. It's impossible to it's know. It's impossible, right. Just the general theory of watching and recording things mentally in my mind at tournaments and league bowling, practice. Nice, nice. wreck in the is. rack. Oh, nice that, he was been back. waiting for that ball. He, he wanted it, his hands. got it, obliterated him. That's the first strike for either one of these bowlers in, in this match, yeah. In this no. match, no. That could be a turning Ooh. point. Who knows? Throw yeah. the ball, see what happens. Never a bad thing. You know, <laughs> Unless touch, it's against you. Yeah, touch them all and have a seat. Now he has to wait. See if now Glenn knows what he is up against. Triple T, when you're bowling, uh, you like two boxes at a time, five boxes five. at a time? Five. Yeah, yeah. So when yeah, you get your rhythm, you can just keep rhythm. going. Yeah, yeah I'm a five box, bowl, five at a time bowler. I like oh, you're that. a five? five I, I like five? that. I, I like that, yeah. yeah. You like five boxes at a time, huh? Oh, we can work yeah. for you or against you. would say that. Oh, no, a little bit. Wide. Five boxes Anyone at a time. Anyone disagree with that? A little people that are up there a little higher yeah. in their age bracket, then they might get well, you know, easier. Five boxes at a time in the red light district. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Point coming up. Oh, yes. oh look at that Come shot. On. What, what a, a shot. beautiful ball. Needed it. Got it. What a beautiful spear shot. Very, very difficult. That deserves a 10 fill on that one coming up. That's one of those nice shots that it's just a pretty thing when it goes. Well, getting back to what I asked you, Triple T, there is another game called duck pin bowling. In league duck pin bowling, you bowl one box at a time. 
I've done it. it was, I, I couldn't get That's used to it. That's one game I still haven't tried yet. Yeah. One it box at a time. Fun. No, 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 I couldn't get a rip. Oh, just broke left. Leaves the cleary right. Oh, he won. Yeah, he's a little frustrated he's with frustrated. himself. Yeah. He knew he needed the head pin, just didn't get it. Little question for you. Do you know why they call it duck pin bowling? One reason why. It's I guess it when it line. originated, when somebody first made the pins, they looked like six and a half ounce Coke bottles that looked like a bunch of ducks flying in the air. And that's well, where it came why, from. Because when you hit them, if you watch videos, the pins fly around like ducks. Yeah. That's the one of the reasons. Mm. I'm starting to think that, that uh, Glenn is um, uh, a mood bowler. <laughs> He wanted the big spear ball, didn't get it. Gets on. We got down to 67. Uh, after six, Glenn Moody at 67. Rick Kamrowski at 74 working on a strike. And Glenn's lead is knocked down to eight. Wow, Glenn's leading by eight. David, you know, I asked you uh, while we were a little low in the action here before he throws on the strike. The essence of why is there a, the stripe on the pin halfway up? Have you ever come up with anything yet? Or is that my, my research? Oh, he almost wow. had the double. Or is I supposed to do that research? I forget. I don't know. I just think it's to, to, to say Tag. what the middle of the pin is. Break up Tag. the monotony of all white. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, they make pins now with different colors, but I believe the stripe is still red. If it's a black pin or a... No, you just see orange ones, I believe. Colored ones. <laughs> what, the pins or the, the stripes? The pins. I think the fire... Oh, nice oh, pick nice up. Pin. White, Look at nice Look at this. He's starting to... This He's is what we saw last week He's against Anthony. It. He's starting to make a move. Gets the spear on the strike. Very difficult two pin on the left side for a left-handed bowl the two. Very, very difficult. He picked it up. He now it's coming down to the final three. It's got to fill it. Got to fill it, yep. Oh, oh. No, no, I'm not even going to get into it. Not even get into it. Wow, his therapy's working, huh? <laughs> he not only gets it's a spread eagle. It's cost a lot of money. I'm he, gets a, he gets a spread eagle with a friend. I'm telling you. A lot, a, spare. a lot of money and a lot of alcohol. <sighs> One pin it, short it, of the guys, it, 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 big Triple T, you've done it. It's so frustrating. Well, it is. You get a nice mark. You throw the, you throw the ball full, 60 the feet. Thing. You throw it 60 pop. feet. You hit your object. And you get and penalized. You get penalized. And you come out of it with an eight box. You make a nice spear. Yeah, you get penalized, but at least it's not a 15 yard penalty, so it's good uh, in a way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, once again, I'll put it out there. Round table discussion. I'll buy the pizza. Any physicist? Yeah, he'll anybody. buy the pizza, all right, and show you a buck. I'm still waiting on some pizza. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here it is. Final two. Excuse me, final four for Glenn. He's got to find it. He's up against the strikes. Yeah, he's, dr strike he's starting there. to lose Labor, a lot of ground yeah. pretty quick. A mark here could change the whole aspect of this game. Uh, you're noticing a little bit more of a concentration here. Oh, oh. Box to box, Glenn so is actually down be, two pins now. Be bad, believe it or not. It take a couple extra seconds, and it kills your pace a little bit too. So, you're going to try to split these two, or are you going to go out to the right of the head pin? I want to go right to the left. Yeah, split the one and the two, right? Right oh. to the left. <laughs> right to the left. Absolutely right to the left. Outside might take a two. Who knows? This is a big shot. No. Oh, oh, now we'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people's, no pun intended, but people's moods affect the way they bowl. Very true. You're unhappy with the way you're bowling and you get angry. angry you, know, you throw, throw that ball harder and it, you can't control it. Mm. A little different footwork, a little different delivery. Okay, let's see what happens. Big, big ball. I mean, he's up against an eight box. It's down to six. Oh, oh no, look wow. At look at this. First, he takes out the spread eagle with a friend. Now he's got, got the spread eagle minus the a back, friend. So. I mean, what more does the bullet got to do? Uncle Elmer's teeth right here, man. Where are you, Shane? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Oh. oh. Oh, he was hoping for it. Nice pitch on that. Nice ball. Oh, this game Should have dropped. Maybe. Hold on. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Uh, resting no. up there and saying, yeah, no. Not enough juice on that one. No. Oh, once again, how fast does that pin have to roll back to the pin and knock it down? Uh, who knows? Just enough to rock it. All right, after eight, Glenn Moody at 86. Rick Kamrowski at 105. Rick actually has a lead by four pins going into the oh, last Rick two boxes. Rick came back. Rick came back. Bye, Berner. 
After one, he was down, what, 15, right? Yes. Yep, Dennis. Yep. Thank you for keeping score. We're along with our professional scorekeeper, Amber. It's coming down to the final two. Head pin. Wow, head look at this. Pin. Hits the head pin. He finds the pocket. This is a spray and shake. And he's left the one, the nine, the ten. Wood all over the place. Four pieces. Which spraying, one are you going for, Dennis? Spraying and praying now. Front one, cap it. Spin it, spray helicopter. And, just spray and pray. There's nothing yeah. you can do. Seven, nine, ten. With, uh, with all that junk on the deck? Yeah. Red line, maybe right. Front one. Oh. Maybe not. Well, this is an important pick. I think yeah. that was one of the ones where you actually had to load up some power on it. Get just some pins moving. Because the smoke comes in effect. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, it's all right. Going. Well, he's, he's still holding on to the lead. Well, if he gets a mark here, it's going to force. Well, it's going to force Glenn to yeah, actually double stroke. If he it's gets it's going to force Glenn to step up to the plate. Yeah. Well, this is the king of the palace, guys. This is what it's all about. You're on TV. You got to show the bowling world what you're all about. And look at this. Four, five, seven. What does he got to do to get a decent? <laughs> Probably will go because I hit that in qualifying like that. I just got to snap the wood and hope off the wall. That it's still go. a very difficult shot. Oh, I yep. agree. Yep. You just gotta, the wood was out a little, up a little more, better chance, but. Oh, oh. oh. Leaves the nice door open. Bid. What's it going to look like? Well, well, we'll wait for the final ball. That was a beautiful ball. Picks up the 10. That could be an important pin. Yeah, he needs, a, he needs at least one mark, right? He needs 24 pins in yeah. two boxes. So he needs at least one mark. Yep. And a good field, obviously. Newcomer, Glenn Moody, do or die time. Yeah, Glenn's a veteran candle pin bowler. Been around the circuit. Yep. First time on he's, TV. He's been doing it for, he's been bowling for 25 yeah. years. His high yeah. singles are 197 and his high triples yeah. are 486. Enjoys it. Likes the candle pin game. Oh, he's really studying this, this head pin. This might be a mistake. Yeah. Mm. Might cause him more harm than good. It's called stinking too much. Get up there and toss it. Hope for the best. Yep. Yeah, see? Yeah. You overthink it. Plead the fifth on that. <laughs> no, it's, it's, you can just see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's unfortunate. This mine's probably oh. racing right now. Oh. Right, nice pitch, too. Pin looks like uh, a toothpick oh. right now. Triple T. In your experience in bowling in tournaments or TV shows, do you want to know what you need when you get up there what to win? Do you want to know what you need? Sometimes, no. It makes you press more and make it think. You just get up there and pull like, pull like it's an even match. That's all okay, I do. What's he going to need? This a is spare a and a die box. He needs 15. 15 14 Five, to tie, 15 to win. So a spare or a strike and a fill of five to win. A spare or a strike and a fill of, excuse me, fill of better we go. Found the hit and look at this. Uh, it's not bad. It's you know what? Not bad, yeah, actually. Not bad, yep. He's made some tough objects? shots today. This could be he's one of those ones he needs. He's got to go to the left of the three Catch. pin, make contact with that wood. Those what pins happens. got a pin two picks right Maybe. now. Yeah, he did it. You talk shot. about pressure That's a bowling. nice ball. A four pin spear split, albeit he had some wood. Five ties to win? Uh, four to tie, five to win. Five to win, all right. No. Triple two, <coughs> would you want to know what you need to win? You just asked me that question. I know. Well, now it's Not final really. ball. Like yeah, I said, you just go out there and just think it's an even match all the time. Well, let's see. Yeah. He didn't take as long this time. Let's see what happens. There we go. Well, he, got he got it. He came That's through. it. That's all he needed. Glenn, Glenn Moody, Moody has won. Glenn Moody holds off Rick. Kamowski. <laughs> Glenn moves on. Final score, Dennis. Glenn Moody with a 113, Rick Kamarowski with a 124, two string total. Glenn had 227 and Rick had 223. Rick had five spares, one strike. Glenn had seven spares. It may not have been big game bowling, but it came right down to every pin counted. That's right. It was not a slobber knocker, but it came down to needed the final pin. Needed the spare pins. in That's the right. last box with the pressure on, made it, and needed to fill a five, and he got it. And now it's time for the 11th box with Nuzzo. Welcome to the 11th box. I'm Dennis Nuzzo, and I'm standing here with today's champion, Glenn Moody. 
Good, great match today, Glenn. You, uh, you took out Rick Kamarowski, who last week defeated Anthony Karen. Yeah, I got a couple extra uh, pins to fall in the end there and got lucky. You were able to hold on to your lead. You were down uh, six pins at one point, and you came back with that final mark in the last box. Great bowling. Uh, next week, you will be facing no stranger to the King of Palace, Phil the Cluffinator Clough. Any thoughts on your match? Uh, Phil Clough's too tough. <laughs> That's what everyone says about him. He is a veteran. Uh, looking forward to a great match next week. See everyone then.